For seven days, all I consumed was ice cream. And here is the final snapshot of the video. You want to see how I did throughout the video? Watch through, but first, let's rewind. You know what they say, an ice cream a day keeps the abs away. Have y'all ever wanted to be shredded and eat ice cream all week long? Well, today's video, I'm doing exactly that. I'm gonna find out if I can remain shredded while eating ice cream all week. So it is currently the end of day one and we are finishing off the night with a 370 calorie pint of chocolate chip cookie dough. This thing is just ready to come out. Look at that. Wow, this thing just, damn. So today is good. I will post the macros on the screen now. And uh, I think we hit about 100 grams of protein and like 17 to 1800 calories. So not too bad. Honestly, I'm a little bit more satiated than I thought I'd be in day one. So this is my fifth pint. I started taking fiber supplements because I know digestion with this is going to be a little bit rough. So I'm hoping with the fiber supplements and stuff like that, it'll help counteract it and I can digest it a little bit better. I didn't work out today, so tomorrow I will work out, have my first workout in, and we'll see where we're going from there. So I'm just going to enjoy this and we're going to go off to bed. If you notice a significant decrease in quality, I'm recording on my phone at Target to get some ice cream because Target has kicked me out before for having a camera. So we're gonna go on with the phone, be a little bit more incognito, just pick up some ice cream. All right, so I believe the title of this video is Halo Top Only Diet, but I'm going with favorite day because it is a little cheaper. So we'll get three for now. Yeah, I was saying it's a little cheaper and we'll get three for now and we'll shop at Woodlands later and pick up a huge haul, so. Same calories, mostly. All right, so we just got out of Target. Um, again, we got favorite day, 410 calories a pint, not too bad. Um, I already had one pint this morning, which, you know, I'm not gonna show every time I eat the ice cream. Uh, I'll show here and there and some, some of my grocery trips. I should just buy it all at once, but like, you know, it, it's like, it's the, the moral of actually spending the money all at once, you know? So it's like, you know, it's, it's fine. But we're gonna dig into this. Um, we got ourselves a rain energy drink. So, you know, we're living the life right now, you know? Mmm. So good though. Literally so delicious. So why am I doing this? Um, mainly, I wanna see if I can lose weight while being on an ice cream diet, which probably will because I'll probably actually have lower calories than what I'm used to eating because I feel satiated um, and like I kind of get deterred from ice cream after a while. So I'm also doing this because am I gonna wanna have ice cream after this week challenge? Who knows? Another thing I wanna see is if, you know, eating ice cream will affect my weight in the gym, the way that I work out and stuff like that. You know, how am I gonna feel? And then stomach issues and stuff like that. Am I gonna have stomach problems? Who knows? So that is what I'm curious about with doing this challenge. You know, we're gonna find out. I'll let you guys know. Again, I am taking fiber with this to kind of help with digestion a little bit, but we'll see. So I will update you guys periodically. Um, I'm not gonna eat ice cream on camera every time. So I'm roughly averaging about five pints a day, which yesterday was the first day. Today is the second day. So like we're on pint number two. So we'll go through probably two more pints today. If not three, we'll have a pre-workout meal and uh, I will see you guys at the gym today. So today is the first day that I'm actually working out um, with basically just ice cream in my system. So we'll see how that goes. We are at Woodman's because we need the pre-workout meal. And uh, you already know what the pre-workout meal is because uh, if it correlates anything with this video, it is ice cream. All right, so we've been eating a lot of favorite day. Um, so we're gonna go with Halo Top tonight because Woodman's does not sell favorite day. So now the big choice is what flavor do we want to get? All right, so I got 800 and some calories left, right? We go with a keto-friendly one, get one with a little bit more calories, or we go one with not as many calories, right? You know what's actually been like kind of on my mind? It's like we could go chocolate cake batter, or we just go vanilla caramel milkshake. We'll go with vanilla caramel milkshake. So 
Yes, and then we will be back later because I gotta get some for uh, tomorrow morning for breakfast. All right, boys, I lied. We need one more thing, one more bang for tomorrow. Now we're out of here. It is time to get to workout number one of this week. Solid pre-workout meal, if I say so myself. We'll have to see how I feel during this workout. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go. Like, bowl-wise, I feel very satiated throughout the day. Um, stomach movement though, like I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on downstairs that is just not probably the healthiest. So we're just, this flavor is actually really good by Halo Top. Vanilla and caramel. Mm. Vanilla is really creamy too. This is pint number 10. Overall, how am I feeling? Probably 8 out of 10. <clears throat> I'm missing some meat in my mouth. I need a savory feeling, I feel. But, you know what? We're moving along. So, I feel like once I get through the week and I start to get really hungry, it is going to be like a harder challenge to do. Alright, comment down below. Are you guys a pint person? Or do you guys like to scoop out the ice cream out of a quart and get your own dish? I mean, no. I'm a fan of pints. Plus, I eat a lot of healthy ice cream. I don't know why. I, I like it, you know? It's, it's, it's satisfying to me. Over regular ice cream. Last bite, delicious. Let's go work out. All right, so I walked for about an hour, and uh, wow. Um, I feel very just bloated. So we'll see how I feel throughout the workout. It's gonna be a shorter workout tonight. Um, but we're gonna do some lunges and then we'll just throw in some other leg stuff. So we'll see how that goes. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll be back in tomorrow. Um, see how that goes. I'll sleep tonight. I'll get some Halo Top in the morning and then we'll go from there. But right now I feel extremely bloated. So we'll see if I feel that way throughout my whole rest of the workout. If, if I don't, that's good. If I do, um, that might be a problem for the rest of the week, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> not lunges, it's more like a split squat. So we're gonna wrap up tonight's workout with some sled pushes and pulls and stuff. We're gonna call it, and I'll see you boys tomorrow morning. because I make the rules on this channel. Um, I know I said I was having pints of ice cream, but we're going with some healthy mochi. And on this diet, I can uh, basically eat as much as I want. There's no set amount that I have allowed for myself. I'm trying to stay within my regular calories. So, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna somewhat be healthy, but uh, you know what? We're gonna go with probably some mix um, bars here, as well as so we had the vanilla mochi last time. So let's go with uh, strum strawberry mochi. So this will be our pre-workout snack for day number three. And let's get to the gym. All right, solid pre-workout snack. So we are now digging into our mochis. But you know what? I figured I'd switch it up. Mmm, delicious.
I am currently having a midnight snack. We got blueberry crumble, halo top, and then uh, we got some chamomile tea because I'm not feeling so good. So I don't know if it's a diet or what it is. Day number four is coming to a wrap. Um, it's been a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Like I felt the urge to just munch on something. So that's why like yesterday I had some mochi, earlier today I had some poppables. Today I actually felt good bowly, like not as much movement down there, you know. So we got three more days. I am starting to get just hungry in general for normal food ice cream is not cutting it anymore so and I'm also down seven pounds from my beginning weight which you guys have seen um, so we'll see where I'm at on day number seven maybe my weight will go back up and adjust to what we're doing who knows so I'm gonna enjoy this ice cream and I'm gonna enjoy this cup of tea and I'm probably gonna head to bed all right so we just finished up a meal for day number five <clears throat> we have ourselves an Alani energy drink as well as four Yasso ice cream bars, and then we had two ice creams. Uh, today is probably the worst day so far. I went to Walmart to get my food, and I and I ended up picking up a bag of chips because I was like, damn, I'm gonna fail this challenge. If I ever thought I'd say, hey, I'd rather not eat ice cream, I'd rather eat something else. No, I never thought I'd say that. Enlighten me, will ya? Oh, how convenient. I've actually never had this brand before. It's called Enlightened. Um, because usually they have more calories than like 400, so we're gonna try it out today. Um, I got caramel fudge pretzel and brownies and cookie dough. You know all the things that I would do to have some meat in my mouth, to just eat a cheeseburger, the things that I would do. So this should put me up over my calories today. Um, I might not even be able to eat both of these. I gotta check to see what we're at for calories. We're nearing the end of day five. Um, Again, really struggling. Oh my gosh, look at that caramel. Oh my gosh, that is that is delicious. Mm, what that tongue do. Again, Ghost, if you're out there, sponsor me. I really could use it. Like, really. Like, affiliate with me. Like, I'll grow you, you grow me, right? Let's try this ice cream. Taste test it. Pretty damn good. I will see you guys either at the gym tonight or tomorrow. I take back what I have said about this uh, flavor. It's very just ice tasting, if uh, that makes sense, which is very bland. The ice cream is just very bland. It just tastes cold. Um, so hopefully this brownie cookie dough is a lot better. It is currently the start of day six. And let me tell you, last night was the worst night on this diet. Um, the bathroom was uh, basically bathroom Hiroshima, and uh, I'm gonna leave out the descriptive details. Sleep was terrible. Um, I felt stomach pains all night. So I'm gonna hold off a little bit on the pints today. Probably go for about three, and then we'll see if I'm feeling better. But overall, um, just, you know, very gassy. Um, it's to the point where I'm always on my toes and there are no more safe parts. Like, there is no safe parts anymore. So. Um, today we're gonna be trying some of these. The vanilla, like, ice cream sandwiches or whatever. Some vanilla bean mochi, so we already have mochi. And then we're gonna pick out our last halo top for the night. Alright, so we're gonna go with probably one of my favorite halo tops of all time. So we got macadamia nut cookie. So fucking good. About as you lay nice in lay things. Yeah. Let the white man catch you. Follow the drinking gourd. <laughs> I can't post that on YouTube. Yes.
So it is the morning of day number seven. Um, yes, I'm in the exact same shirt and hat as yesterday. I'm ready to, to go eat. So yesterday I broke the, uh, so I had some ice cream pops instead of like actual ice cream. So I'm counting it, it was Halo Top. Um, I needed it a lot, something refreshing, so it was really good though. Um, but today is the last day, so we're gonna see how I'm feeling. Yesterday was probably the best day overall on how I felt um, since day one. Today, I'm feeling a little stuffy again, but we'll see how it goes throughout the day. So um, hopefully it gets better, but uh, I'm not feeling too bad. I'm very gassy. Um, I haven't had emergency uh, toilet adventures yet. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys when I finish up my ice cream or get the ice cream today. Um, and then I will end out the video. So three workouts should be involved. Working out was probably the hardest part just because of how loose everything was. Like it's, it was hard to, to work out. I'm not gonna lie. As they say, as challenges go, this challenge is complete. So we're finishing off with two pints. Um, that one, which is brownie and cookie dough. And then we got a mint chip from Overjoy. Um, I cannot tell you how thankful I am for this challenge to be over. Like, unbelievably thankful. I will see you guys tomorrow when everything is all said and done and I have my first real meal after all this ice cream. So if I end up picking up any more ice cream tonight, I'll let you know, but uh, I'm not planning on it. I don't even want to look at this, but I'm hungry. I need to get in my calories. So see you boys tomorrow morning. All right, so it is day eight. Technically, we are done with the challenge. We finished it last night, early this morning. Things that I noticed while on the challenge. Uh, no heartburn. That was the one positive. I had no heartburn at all, meaning that I know that there's something in my diet that gives me heartburn. Um, and this, what I did, did not. Number two is it is a very restrictive diet. Uh, people who only eat meat, people who only eat eggs. That is a very restrictive diet too, especially with the fruitarian diet that can be very strict too it is very hard to go about just eating one food a day um or for a whole week for that matter uh and that was tough it put me to my mental strength i had to be strong mentally i also had to have strong willpower with it um am i glad that i did it no and yes uh it showed me that i can stick to something for so long while also getting my minimum calories in uh and not really going over so like i never said how many calories i was going to eat i was just going to eat one food for a whole week and that's what i did i tried to stay around maintenance calories which i actually was under a lot of the time because it's so low in calories for the pints and because they are so full of fiber and uh just carbs in general I do tend to feel full now I was taking my regular supplements I start I stopped taking them day five just to see if anything would change but up until day five I was taking my fiber my skin and nails zinc vitamin C stuff like that um, and then my regular like Acti builder creatine and uh, G test things that were negative on this diet uh, the bathroom situation again I'm not gonna go into details you guys already know it was bathroom Hiroshima basically all week um, I had to clench basically every time I was gonna go to the bathroom I was on my toes you know I would be working out that's why that's why the workout situation which I'll get to that in a second wasn't the best um, but I you know I had to stand up clench and run like it was it was bad like there are times that I spent probably 30 minutes on the toilet um, it really flushes out your system um, there there are no safe farts anymore like there was no safe parts um, my stomach was always kind of you know rumbling um, gas was really bad like really smelly workouts my workouts when I worked out weren't bad the only reason they were bad was because my stomach couldn't handle all the movement and everything like that so when it came to like leg day leg day was rough um, again when I stopped taking my supplements, I didn't have to go to the bathroom as much, so it was good. Um, and if I switched it up and didn't do the pints, um, that was good as well. I am I am supposed to be dairy free, and I was not for this diet, so that could be another reason why my stomach was so like kind of upset. 
Um, I should have taken like Pepto-Bismo or something like that to see if that helped. I did not. Overall, the quality of the workouts, I didn't really see the quality of the workouts go down. I only worked out three times in the week though. Like I, I made it to the gym four times, I did cardio four times. I could only muster through four workouts. Focus, I feel like my focus wasn't always there. I feel like my attention was sometimes focused on other food. I felt like I was very agitated for a lot of it. Um, after day three, I felt like I just got agitated very easily. Energy was definitely down. Like my energy was not as, as high as it normally is. I had to consume a little bit more caffeine than I normally would just to kind of stay focused and energized throughout the day. Um, quality of sleep, I didn't really notice the quality of sleep dip until about day four. Um, after day four, quality kind of dropped. Like I've never woken up late and I woke up late one day. So for the first part of the diet, um, Ice cream was really hard to just eat because my mouth would get really cold. About day two, end of day two, my I started to get used to that, so that was fine. Um, but yeah, so if I would try this again, I would maybe do dairy-free, see if that would make a difference. Uh, I don't think I am gonna do it again because it was a very tough challenge. I was so excited to eat real food. I was salivating from just looking at it. That is gonna wrap up this week's video. So if you guys did enjoy, touch that like button, it helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and I will see you in the next one.